Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out the hardware on Google Glass. So I'm gonna give you guys an in-depth look at everything here. And if you would like to see a camera demo video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and I will go ahead and make one for you guys. But as you can see here, we have everything all set up from the sunglasses shades to the earbud and as you can see the little screen there is actually showing through the prism now it's really not that small it's actually quite larger than that but when you're looking through it from the opposite side of the prism it actually seems very very small but you can definitely see when somebody is doing something on glass because that little screen lights up but like I said we have the mono earbud connected here on the side of glass and that actually plugs in via the micro USB port which is also used for charging glass so let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the hardware here First up, we have the 720p or 5 megapixel camera, and that is right next to the prism, which displays the glass heads-up display for you. Now, this whole thing is on a little rotatable hinge right here, so you can kind of move it forward or backwards via this little hinge here on the side, and that will allow you to bring it into view depending on how glass sits on your face when you're wearing it. Now, as I mentioned, we have the mono earbud here on the side, and Google also does make stereo head headphones for glass as well, but they plug into the micro USB port here on the bottom. So you can go ahead and plug that in. And that is also where you plug in the charging cable. And when the device is charging, you'll see this nice little glowing light, which also works as an indicator light. When you first turn on glass, it'll let you know that it's booting up. Moving up the side of the frame here, as you can see, we do have our touchpad that runs along the side of glass here. And you can use that with tap gestures and swipe gestures, whether that be up, down, left, or right. And that is how you will navigate through the menus when you're not controlling glass with your voice. And there are some things that are required for swipes and taps, so keep that in mind. On the top side of glass, you'll notice a single button which will allow you to quickly snap a photo. Now this same button here will also allow you to extend video recording past the default of 10 seconds while you're recording the video. So you just hit that little button and then you can record for as long as you want. Moving along to the tail here, of glass this big little piece right here is mainly comprised of the battery but it also does carry the bone conduction speaker now I wish the battery was a little more evenly balanced between both sides of the frame but this is what we get right now with the Explorer edition as you can see on the other side of this little tail here we have what appears to be a little button with the glass logo on it now that is not actually a button that's part of the bone conduction speaker system so this little button looking thing actually vibrates and emits sound waves on to your skull behind your ear and allows you to hear what's going on on glass. Now it's not exactly private because if you take it away from your head you can still hear the sounds but it does give you a better way to hear what's happening on your glass without having to actually use the mono earbud. Coming up along the inside of the frame here, you can see that we have a couple of things going on. The first thing here we have is our power slash standby switch. So you can hold that down to completely turn off or on glass, or you can press it once to put glass into standby mode. Now up here at the top, you'll notice that we have a T4 Torx screw, and this will actually allow you to separate the frame from the actual glass unit, allowing you to add on additional frames in the future. Now in order to do this, we're gonna have to remove the shades, and as you can see, these just easily slide out just like that, so no harm there, and then we can go ahead and set those aside, and you just are left with the glass unit on the side and the titanium band frame. Now as I mentioned, what you're going to need is a T4 bit or screwdriver driver and Google actually provides instructions on how to do this in the glass help center so I'll be sure to link that down below in the description for you so what we're gonna do here is unscrew this and once we get this out a little bit you'll notice some separation up here at the top as you can see there by that little camera button and that's actually a good thing so you want to see that now once you see that separation all you have to do is slowly wiggle glass out of place it'll kind of pop out of there and then on the final step here you want to be very careful and slide it upward not hitting the prism try not to do that and as you can see here we have this little tail that actually tucks into the glass unit itself so then you can take off the frame and apply a new one when new ones are available so as you can see here we just have the bare glass unit right here in my hand and kind of an unfinished look where that frame was but overall that is how you get 
the frame off of glass. So as I mentioned, you can use swipes and taps to navigate through glasses menus. And here you see the little glass screen right there. It's actually kind of hard to see what I'm doing right here, but I'm just navigating through the menus by swiping that. Now, like I said, on this side, that little display seems very, very, very small, but it is much, much larger when you're looking at it. And it definitely looks like you're staring at a monitor that's quite a few feet away from you. So it's a nice little heads up display. And if you're curious, to know kind of what the user interface looks like well I'll give you a little brief demo here there's actually a my glass app that will allow you to screencast what's showing on the prism on an Android phone at the moment my glass is only available for Android so you only get this feature on Android device but as you can see as I swipe through glass you can see my timeline here now there is a bit of a delay for this screencast here because it is going over my Wi-Fi network so keep that in mind that's not actually how glass responds to your swipes and touches it's actually quite speedy on the unit itself but we can actually view websites and we can favorite tweets and everything like that and we can go through and share photos take photos we can get directions and do things like this okay glass google Mac mixing. So what we just did here is a Google search and it will actually bring up real web results and we can browse the web in our eye. It's pretty crazy. And let's go ahead and swipe through some of these results right here. And we can actually visit web pages on glass. It will pull up the mobile version of a website if there is a mobile version available. But as you can see, we can tap on view website and here we are loading up the YouTube channel here. So you can just go ahead and view the mobile version of a YouTube channel right on glass. And interestingly enough, you can even select links and you can click on a link and I can watch a YouTube video right here on glass. So it's pretty cool and it is actually usable. I mean, you can definitely see what's happening on glass. It's not very tiny or anything like that. It is possible to browse the web and watch videos through glass, though that will definitely kill your battery life. So I wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the hardware here on glass. If you'd like to see more in-depth user interface stuff, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It is extremely hard to record actually what you see through the prism because it is so tiny and it requires a certain amount of uh, focusing distance between, you know, uh, well, a camera or your eye or anything like that. But if you would like to see more in-depth coverage on the user interface, I can definitely try to find a better way to do that or provide more screencast demos on the user interface as well and some of the features and functionality. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to let me know what you think about Google Glass down in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. This is Dom and have a great day.